<laughs> no, this is a late night comedy sketch. It has to be. This can't be happening. How can this be happening? How could she have already? How could she have already made the call when they just said it was too close to call? As I watched his victory speech in stunned silence, tears were pouring down my cheeks onto my chest. I consoled myself with some steamed Chinese vegetable dumplings and a bottle of fat tire new amber ale, which only wound up adding to my ailing. I'd been ill for quite a few days with a very bad cold and even had to miss some days of work. By the night of the election, it had gotten worse, but I wouldn't go to bed until the results came in. Now they were in, and I wondered how I could sleep. It was 3.30 in the morning, and I prepared for bed to try to escape the nightmare. I looked at myself in the medicine cabinet mirror, thinking that maybe I was the reflection and that the face looking back at me was the real me and would tell me that actually, on the other side of the glass, she had not yet conceded and they were doing a recount. It said nothing, other than that the real me was under an evil spell and had been turned into a spotted gray frog with padded double bags under its heavy-lidded red eyes. An amphibian physiognomy no self-respecting fairy tale princess would ever lower her standards to kiss. No matter how much I tried to convince her I was once a prince, and, and that if she was faithful to the bedtime story and did what it says she's supposed to do to transform me back, we would live happily ever after. Well, just in case she changed her mind, I wound the waxed floss around my index fingers, pressed them firmly with my opposable thumbs, those unsolicited reminders that I was still a member of the pathetic human race, and began to stick my hands into my wide open mouth to get to those hard to reach cracks between my back teeth, when suddenly, all the televised toxins I'd ingested for the last eight hours began to gurgle and boil and rise up inside me. I closed my mouth and held it all in, borrowing some of the overflowing denial I had about the election results. Oh no, uh-uh, I, I, I am not going to throw up. The only imminent thing around here is sleep and I'm right on my way to my room. When I said during his speech that I think I'm going to throw up, I meant it metaphorically, not literally. Then as I deliberated over the decision of whether or not, in spite of my fear of food fungus festering on my gums all night long as I slept, I should forgo flossing for the first time in 15 years. I exploded like Mr. Creosote the gargantuan gourmand after gorging on a multi-course meal in Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, vomiting violently and voluminously loud for a very long time as I stood over the bathroom sink. I thought about falling to the floor and holding my stomach to, uh, you know, to, to, um, I, I thought about fall, fall, falling to the floor and holding my stomach to make it less painful and easier to push it all out and doing it in its proper place, the toilet. But I had to make, maintain some sense of dignity. And, and the thought of sticking my head in that stinking bowl reactivated my gag reflex, so I never had a chance to make it to my knees anyway. Every time I thought it was finally over, there was this one piece of stubborn carrot that stayed stuck in my throat, causing the whole process to start all over again. And I hadn't even eaten any carrots. <laughs> I thought I was going to choke to death. I knew my retching whales had woken up my cat Bella, who had wanted so badly to stay up for the election results but just couldn't <laughs> stick it out, and that now she was probably scared and wondering why an elephant was giving birth in the bathroom. That was the sound of the rigged system, I would explain to her later. I guess shredded cabbage and bok choy packed into a pillow of sticky white dough washed down with fermented barley hops and piss water don't mix well with the lacerating cough, globs of green and yellow brown schnapp backing up into my brain, and a genetic mod genetically modified corn husk haired, mob infested, empty casino, carny huckster, ballyhoo spieling, jack o' lantern faced, lost little boy, trust fund baby crying under his nasty narcissist, bully headed hunger for his beloved steeplechase park smashing to build a whites only apartment complex, father's love, pathologically lying, conniving, trophy wiving, sire of trophy hunting, power suit wearing, leopard killing, cowards erecting luxury towers, homelessness causing tax break, the billionaire giving, bankruptcy declaring, disability mocking, waterboarding, border wall building, innocent teenager lynching, lacking introspection, fiddling with his hubris on his golden penthouse throne, speaking in superlative self-aggrandizing generalities to cover up an ignorant, incoherent set of policies, boasting pussy groping because when you're rich and famous you can get away with never finishing a sentence to get out of answering questions. So many accusations of sexual molestations, anti-intellectual, last book read was way back in high school, hate speech spewing, journalists suing, free speech screwing, pointing finger, fidgeting on the hair breath trigger of the nuclear code, neo-Nazi endorsed racing, racist, misogynist, homophobic, xenophobic, birther movement, leading temper tantrum, tweeting NRA anal violence, inciting ad hominem attacking parents of Muslim American dead soldiers, insulting terrorists, inflaming, climate change denying, healthcare obliterating, tax evading, hypocrite, 
under indictment, J. Edgar Comey and Telpro November surprising, aspiring real estate agent, defrauding worker and contractor, stiffing, outsourcing jobs to third world country child sweatshop laborers with tiny hands like his to stitch his school assembly, presidential debate, red satin neckties, environment destroying, animal torturing, undocumented kill floor slaughterer and assembly line butcher crippling, factory farm T-bone steak hawking, spouting oil rig sucking, ancient sand dune destroying, Scottish home bulldozing, family displacing, for golf course constructing, coal mine promising, alternative energy, green job revolution, poo-pooing, fracking, bring backing, Supreme Court stacking to make America great again by becoming ordained to officiate the wedding vow renewal ceremony of Uncle Sam and Auntie Bellum, slavery preserving electoral college, closed down polling sites in neighborhoods of non-whites, non-voter blaming but refusing to take responsibility for their own inability to galvanize the electorate, Bernie sabotaging Democratic National Committee and raiding, scraping, corporate media created creature of society, celebrity worshiping, numbing comfort. <laughs> <laughs> I should have gone to bed at 10. <laughs>